March Madness 2024 tier list. We got all 64 teams that made it, except we got Montana State over Grambling State because when I made this list, I did the tier list myself. I accidentally put Montana State in, assuming they would win. But we got Colorado right, but let's get straight into it. We're going to go ahead and pretty much pick where we think these teams are going to peak at, like where they can really get to. So, like, the final four teams aren't just going to be four teams. Like, it'll be teams that I'm thinking will make it to the final four, like the, the handful of teams that I think can get there. So we're going to start off with St. Mary's. Um, I'm pretty much like what their peak is. I don't think the St. Mary's makes it past the round of 32, same as the Quins and Northwestern. Off the rip, um, I got a hot take to start with. Um, Baylor not making it out the first round. Uh, They're going to they gonna lose first round. It's going to be tragic, but... Upsets are meant to happen, bro. That's why we love March Madness for real. Now, Iowa State, that's a different story. That's a different story right there. That's a team um, that can go all the way and actually win this thing, win the whole thing. I have a lot of faith in Iowa State. Uh, they won the Big 12. They beat the crap out of Houston, who is also a Final Four-ish team. Um, and, yeah, I feel like going into the tournament, they're one of the hottest teams right now. Uh, we got San Diego State um, after last year's run. They got a lot of players that came back, got a lot of experience. So I can really see them making a decent run. But getting to the Elite Eight Final Four, I don't think so. Um, here comes my bias, but I went to Marquette. Y'all know that. But I do think Marquette is one of the top eight teams in the country that has a chance to make it to the Final Four, if I'm going to be honest. And, yeah, like I just I just have faith in my team, for real. Um, Tyler Colex going to be playing. Uh, you know, they have a great backcourt. I think teams with really good backcourts are going to do well. We're going to get more into that as we get up to teams that have great backcourts. But right here, we got Wagner. Their logo's a little cut off, but we all know Wagner. They're 16 seed. No shot, bro. No shot they win. Um, I think they play UConn, if I'm going to be... Oh, no, Stetson plays UConn. We can go ahead and throw Stetson in here, too, because, boy, no way, boy. Them boys are not making it. Same for Akron. There's a lot of teams that could get upset, but I don't think Akron's one of those teams that's going to do the upsetting. Alabama, they played an extremely fast-paced offense, and I think that um, with that type of offense in this thing, like if they can score and outscore you, they're going to beat you. But if they're mission shots, then it's going to be tough for them to win games. Um, Arizona, a lot of people are high on Arizona. Final Four is in Arizona, um, but... I don't think I think their their peak is the Elite Eight. I don't think they can max out and get to that Final Four. Um, you know, Caleb Love's solid. Uh, they got that big man Johnson, and then they got Balo, but or whatever his name is. But I'm not I'm not sold. Now Auburn, one of the hottest teams in one of the hottest teams in all of W of W all of NCAA right now, and they're looking like a top eight team. They at the end of the season, they're top eight team, even though they're a four seed, which is kind of crazy. Like they're Ranked number eight in, like, the top 25. Um, but, you know, we'll see what happens with them. We got Oakland. I'm going to go ahead and throw them around to 32. This is one of those sleeper teams that could do some damage, but unsure. UAB. See, now UAB could play um, San Diego State in the second round, I believe. And, like, in that second round is where I think one of these teams makes it. And I don't know who's going to win, so I feel confident with putting one of them in the Sweet 16, BYU, I'm not sold. I did a TikTok live stream, and a lot of people were sold on BYU, but I'm just not sold whatsoever. I don't think this is a great team. Um, Clemson, they play like New Mexico, or I think they play New Mexico first round. New Mexico is probably the top, the top 11 seed um, in this tournament, and I think they beat Clemson. But assuming Clemson wins, uh, that's as far as they're going. Colgate and Charleston. I will say I'm a little more unfamiliar with these two teams, um, but I think they're you know pretty solid teams as a whole, but just not upset worthy this year. Now Colorado, they just won today um, in the first four against Boise, who's a good team. They're gonna play Florida without their big man, and if they beat Florida, um, they would probably match up with Marquette in the second round. And me being a Marquette fan, you know anything can happen when you're a fan of a team. I can just see them possibly beating us, and that means Sweet 16 right there. Um, they're a similar team to Colorado. Like Colorado's got a really good guard in Isaiah Stevens. 
So I think that they have a good chance to make a little run into the Sweet 16 because, you know, them first four teams, you know, they get a quick game out the way. They win. They get some momentum. And it kind of builds for, you know, a couple weeks. But UConn, the number one overall seed, you know, the favorite to win it all um, for for right reason because, you know, they beat Marquette three times. The Big East is definitely an underrated conference. Uh but yeah, they're good. They're going to be playing a lot of games on the East Coast. Their fan base travels extremely well. I've seen it in person. So I wouldn't be shocked to see them back in the Final Four and possibly in the championship game. And now Creighton's a tough one. Creighton is a tough team because they got people that can shoot their rock for real. Like, they can shoot the rock. Like, they remind me of a bunch of me shooting that rock. But they don't play defense like your boy. They do have a seven-footer, which does help. Um, but I feel like they're only going to go as far as their shooting takes them, and I just don't think their shooting stays hot all the way enough to make a Final Four. Um, but this is probably one of, the, like this, I guess, you know, underdog three-seed type of teams. They are a high seed, but I would say they're one of the underdog three-seed type of teams that could make a run. Dayton, I'm going to just go ahead and say it mid. Drake, I want to say here, but I don't have any evidence to back it up, so I'm going to go throw them there. Duke, I'm not really sold on Duke. Um, I don't even really think they make the Sweet 16, bro. I think they lose one of those games. Like, if Wisconsin advances and plays them, I think Wisconsin knocks them out the way. Uh, but, yeah, Florida, there's, there's no way Florida. I, I I don't think Florida wins their game. Without their big man, who's like 6'8", 6'10", 6'11", 7 feet, whatever, I don't think they're doing a whole lot. FAU, I think, is a little overrated. Um, coming in from last year, I think they're a little overrated, but... They still do have a pretty solid team, um, uh, but I'm just not sold. And that's another team like freaking Gonzaga, bro. Like Everybody loves Gonzaga because, you know, I guess they got history where they actually win some games every now and then. But another team I'm not sold on. Illinois, a team I'm sold on. They have a good team. They don't play no defense. They definitely don't play any defense, but they can score the ball really well. And I think that's going to benefit them. When it comes to James Madison, I do think they're going to beat Wisconsin in the first round. And I think they're going to be one of our little fairy tale runs if they could make it. JMU, I don't know why the logo is so cut off. Same for TCU and GCU. But I think that's a fairy tale run type of team. Uh, Kentucky, they have the offense to score with anybody, bro. These four teams right now in the Elite Eight are very similar. High offense of output, but defense is mid, 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 mid. So I'm just, I'm not sure about that. Kansas, they don't win two games in this tournament. Missing arguably their best player, an 18-plus point score a game. Um, I think they lose first round to NC State, maybe? I think they lose first round to whoever they're playing. Um, yeah, I'm not sold. Houston, I'm sold. Like I said before with Marquette, they got great guards. Houston's got elite guards as well. Uh, they got Shed, one of the best defensive players in the country. LJ Choir, one of the best three-point shooters in the country. And they're a tough team, bro. Like, they're a tough team. Um, my sleeper 15 seed to advance uh, is Long Beach State to the second round. I think if they advance, they end up losing to whoever they play in the next round. But, you know, their coach is really has nothing to lose. He already got fired. Uh, he already got mopped up, and he's just kind of cooked. I don't know what logo this is right now. I'm going to have to come back to it. This is McNeese. A lot of people have been glazing McNeese, and I'm going to go ahead and glaze McNeese too. I think they can win two games in this tournament. I really do think they can win two games in this tournament. Um, they're like 30-3, and three, bro. They, they've won a lot of freaking games. Michigan State gets to the tournament, and anything's possible with this team for real. Like Michigan State... Is just a bunch of hoopers. They had a bad year, but Tom Izzo in March is tough. I feel like he wins at least two games every year in March, regardless of his seeding. They upset Marquette last year as the seventh seed, and I just think I just think it's possible. Mississippi State not sold. Uh, Montana obviously got knocked out, so this is Grambling. Shout out HBCU for making it uh, to the tourney, but you guys are gonna be down here. Morehead State. I don't believe in y'all, bro. NC State. NC State right here. And actually, if we're talking about as high as far as they could go, NC State and New Mexico are very similar teams just based off the hype that's surrounding around them. Um, like, you know, NC State's got to do that's 300 pounds, a big man that's going to cook you. And then um, New Mexico's got those Marquette, Houston type of, type of backcourt, a couple dogs in the backcourt that are going to get after you 
um, offensively and can hold their own defensively. So I have faith in that. Nebraska? Nebraska's never won a game in the tournament. And I think this is the year it changes, bro. I think they get at least one game. That's really it, though. Like, that's literally it. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is Nevada right here. I can see Nevada advancing to the second round. Um, I think they play. Who do they play, bro? I can't. I don't know off the top of my head. But they play somebody. Obviously, they play somebody. But I just can't think of who it is off the top of my head. They play. I don't know. Whatever. I think Nevada could play because if they win and the New Mexico wins, they would play each other in the next round. Sanford's another sleeper team. Um, they would play McNeese in the, in the second round if they both win. So I could see one of them advancing. Uh, actually, one of these teams plays Kansas. And I think they could beat Kansas for real. Um, UNC, it's got Final Four aspirations. Uh, they've been a, I feel like they've been a kind of mid one seed. Like they win games, but they look very beatable. If I'm going to be honest, Oregon. Has been playing really well lately. I got Sweet 16 at max. Purdue, no shot they go to the Final Four. We know where Purdue is when they make it to the March, bro. We saw them get smacked by this team right here last year um, for no reason, but they're not doing that this year. I'm going to go St. Peter's right here. North Dakota State's getting bounced. South Carolina's kind of mid. GCU's kind of mid. TCU's kind of mid. Tennessee. I don't think they have Final Four power, bro. I don't think they got it, bro. Rick Barnes in March. Eh, eh. We got a and um, I'm going to go through Western Kentucky right here. No way this team beats Marquette, bro. No shot they beat Marquette. Literally no shot. a and I don't know, bro. At this point, it's just a bunch of in-betweener teams. Like, I think I got my top six teams that I actually think one of those six teams is going to win it. Um, Texas, I really think Texas lose first round, but I'm going to give them a chance to win a game. Same as Texas State. I think Utah State can win two games. It's just their second game would be Purdue if um, they both win their first games. And Purdue's beatable, bro. Like, anybody can beat Purdue. It's just if you stop Edie, you stop their entire offense. Vermont could go here. Washington State could go here. I'll show Wisconsin some love. I'll show Wisconsin some love. Get them to the Sweet 16. Yale, no. And I don't know who this is off the top of my head. Um, like, I'm, I'm actually really unfamiliar with that logo right now. But I'm going to look it up for y'all. If y'all are here still, and you can comment this before I actually say it, I'll be very impressed. Um, but I actually have no idea what team this is. But I'm going to find it on trip. Uh, no, not Sunday. We need to go to Friday. What team? What team? What, bro, I'm getting trolled. I'm getting trolled. I'm getting trolled. And I'm just chatting. That team is... I'm going to know it as soon as I see it, too. Longwood. I knew that. That's Longwood. Yeah, they're getting smacked by Houston, bro. No cap. They're getting smacked by Houston. But, yeah, that's the video. We got March Madness uh, tier ranking. It was kind of a speed run. Um, but y'all see my final four potential teams, the Elite Eight potential teams. All these teams is where I think they're going to get to. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like, subscribe, comment. I know you guys like these tier lists. Feel free to comment what you guys want to see next when it comes to tier lists. You want to see some reactions, any types of NFL, NBA, college sports. Uh, I'll do baseball, golf, boxing, UFC, whatever. Just let me know in the comments, man. I'm here to provide content for y'all because y'all show me a lot of love. And if you guys are seeing this video uh, early enough, feel free to uh, go ahead and click that link, that Underdog Fantasy Sports link in my bio. And if you want to join my bracket before it starts, it's I'm Jacob Rose. You can find it on ESPN. It should be easy. It's just all my social names. But yeah, with all that being said, we out of here, bro. Appreciate y'all.